Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And in this video, I have invited other resellers in the community to come and share a Bolo item, an item to be on the lookout for, an item they bought low and sold for a profit. So in this video, you are gonna see lots and lots of different resellers telling you about their items. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. I am going to list their eBay stores and their YouTube channel down below in the description. If they have one, be sure to go follow them. They are fantastic bolo finders. Now, I am going to share my bolo with you first. This is not a huge money bolo, but you can find these and it's probably something you walk past. So that is what I'm going to share with you. I picked this up at the Goodwill Bins. It is a remote, a remote control for a Jurassic World Zoomer Dino. Uh, so remote control replacement controller. I tested it. It lit up. There are no batteries in it. Um, took those out. I sold this for $32.50 plus shipping. So the buyer was all in for $40.20 for this right here remote control. So be on the lookout for these. Don't pass them by. Some of them go for more. A lot of times they're going to be 10, 15 bucks, bread and butter item. This actually sold pretty quick. Hey, Bolo Buddies and Toy Addicts. This is my Bolo. We all know that vintage stickers can be good money, but today I'm specifically talking about Sandy Lion Maxi Activity Stickers. These measure four inches by six and a half inches, and they all have some sort of activity element to them, sort of like paper dolls for some of them. So this one is Be a Clown. We have Design a Sport outfit a pooch so you get the idea and some of them are like a little room or a picnic that you can put together they started making these in 1983 when sandy lion first started and i have sold these i'll show you some pictures here this one sold in one minute for 125 dollars this one sold for about in about five minutes for a hundred dollars and then these sold for fifty dollars each this is my bolo What's going on everybody? It is Brendan. I am the one man show and my channel on YouTube is Dad Planet. Now in 2021, I didn't sell a single pair of Crocs footwear, but fast forward to 2022 and I've sold almost 30 pairs of pre-owned Crocs to date. And I just recently sold one of the highest priced non-collaboration pre-owned Crocs that I've seen so far this year. And I want to share that with you. So this is a pair of Crocs Cypress red women's heels. Now I sold these for $95, but that was just based off of a very recent comp, same style, same color for the exact same price. So if you were unaware that Crocs is an amazing brand for resale, hopefully now you know, but I want to show you a couple of other Crocs styles before I let you go. So the first is the Crocs Islander Pit Crew. If you happen to see this style while you're outsourcing and you resell it, you may make a lot of money. And then the next one is even better than the rest of them. This is a Cars Pixar Lightning McQueen collaboration. If you happen to find these at a garage sale or a thrift store and you resell them, you might make an absolute ton of money. Who knew? I went from not even knowing Crocs was a thing to, wow, I cannot wait to find my next pair. So if you want to see more in-depth what sold content like that, Head on over to Dad Planet, hit the subscribe button, and I thank you in advance for your time. Hi, Bolo Buddies. My name is Carol, and on YouTube I go by Butterfly Hustles. Come over there and check out my channel. My Bolo for today is this beautiful Victoria's Secret vintage one-piece teddy. And this is the vintage tag. And I sold it for, drum roll, ding, couldn't believe it because I bought it at Goodwill for a dollar. So don't pass up the sleepwear section. Look for vintage Victoria's Secret. Thank you. 
Bye. Hi, I'm Christy. I go by Mom's Closets TX. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and Depop. I sell just about anything that you would find in your mom's closet. So my bolo is something that combines a lot of things I love. It is a Disney t-shirt, it was Star Wars Disney t-shirt with this Ewoks graphic on the front. It was the Disney characters fashions tag. Um, that places it right around the late 80s, early 90s. It was a single stitch tee. It turned out to be a grail tee and it was sold at the Disney parks. I bought this from Donatella Bottolino. Um, she goes on with tea auctions for you. They have YouTube channels where they go back and forth and they do auctions. And I bought it for $34 from her. I thought I'd get, you know, maybe $150, $200 for the shirt. But after doing some research and getting some help, I found that it was worth a lot more. I put it up on eBay and I took a best offer of $650. So that's my bolo and it's one of my best finds yet. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. It's Donna, Donatella Botellino, coming to you from my reseller cottage and I run my business out of it. My business is buying estate sales. I also buy storage units and I buy things in volume and I bring them to you, my resellers. I offer free shipping. I go live either on my channel or my auction partner's channel, T Auctions for You. You can catch us uh, almost daily, sometimes in the morning for coffee, sometimes late night. So thank you, Courtney. I sold these wonderful earrings last night. I sold three lots. Each lot had 50 pairs. One lot went for $40, I think, another for $45, and then another for, I think, $55 for 50 pairs of vintage earrings that came out of a beautiful antique store in Manhattan in New York City. Uh, the woman brought all her inventory down here to the Palm Beaches in hopes to, buy, uh, to open another store, and she never did. And I had the pleasure of being able to buy probably 75% of her inventory. So I hope to see you live, and here's the video. Thank you, Courtney. One more pair, one more pair. And these. And that will give you 50 pairs of earrings. I'm going to count them down. Highest bid gets them. 15, 14, 13, 12. 3, 2, 1. And we're going to be sold. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, everyone, for coming in. Sold, sold, sold to Tina for $55. Lot number four. Thank you, Tina. Hey guys, it's Rachel Strickland. My son and I were at a 100 mile yard sale this past summer and we passed by a booth that had souvenir spoons. Now, those aren't typically something that you would stop and spend a whole lot of time on, but it's funny, he and I both had the exact same idea and we were turning them over to find a sterling silver marking. Let me just tell you, the right souvenir spoon is worth more than its weight in silver. I picked this one up for just $3 and I was able to sell it for $150 plus shipping. I believe that it was very important that it was figural it was very important that it was a Native American theme, and it could have possibly even been important where it was from. This one sold to a buyer in Illinois, and I'm so glad that we picked it up for just $3. You can find me, Rachel Strickland, here on YouTube. I am approaching 10,000 subscribers, and I would love to see you over there. Hi, my name is Terry. I go by the name Mindful Recycle on my YouTube channel and in my eBay store. My bolo for today is a keyboard. I have bought and sold quite a few keyboards. This is the highest value one though. I paid $150 for it and it sold in about a week or less for $671. This one is called an Insonic and it's a SQ80. And this is from the eighties and Back then, this was one of the first synthesizers they had made. So this was pretty desirable, and that's why it sold so fast. So keep your eyes open for keyboards. And Courtney, thank you for doing the bolos again. Hey guys, it's Rhonda from Got Junk in Our Trunk, and I've got another This Is My Bolo for you. But first, I want to apologize for my messy garage. It's always a little bit messy for us resellers, but right now I've banned myself from thrifting till the end of the year. 
Um, it's something that I don't often do, but in this case I am, and I'm revamping all of my uh, inventory in my garage. But while I'm doing that, I'm finding a lot of cool items that are still in storage and such from me having a thrift store. I had a 5,000 square foot one, so there's a lot of inventory here. This is my bolo today. It's Hugh Laurie. Well, not really Hugh Laurie, I guess. It's the poster that's behind me. This is one of the library posters that they put up during book week. It's one of the read posters. This one happens to be 2009, but I do have others that are true vintage. They're 2000 and back. I sold Bill Gates one not too long ago, and the Hugh Laurie is still listed just in case you want something like that for your house. But this is something that you need to look for when you go to your library sales. I go there a lot and I find children's books and things like that that I use for junk journals and such. But this one day, they happened to have several of these. I think I bought around 20 of them. They were a quarter a piece. And the reason that this is a bolo is this. So be sure and go to all of your library sales because you never know when you might see a bolo there. Thanks for watching and have a great junkin' day. Hey everybody, this is Abel from Abel's Treasures. I do have a YouTube channel. If you're interested in um, hearing conversations about the reseller business or and the mindset of a small business owner, follow me there. If you're just interested in the interesting things that I find, follow me here on my Instagram. It's all Abel's Treasures, my tag name, but let's go ahead and get into it. What I have here is a Magic Johnson 1990 nutmeg tag, single stitch. Found it at a garage sale for $2 with a few other um, vintage items. And here's the back, full back here. Now, I purchased this at a garage sale for $2, like I mentioned, and I was able to flip it for $85 plus shipping. I was asking $125, way above market, hoping somebody would offer me market value, and that's exactly what happened. I'm gonna get this packed up, out the door. I appreciate you guys, thank you. Hey Bolo Buddies, Cage Reseller here with another Bolo. It's not the plush that are up there. <laughs> it is silverware, actually. Believe it or not, I just sold this set of silverware, Oneida silverware. It's about 40 or 50 pieces. It sold for $180 on eBay. Really good sale. I paid $15 for that at an estate sale. So if you find Oneida silverware or any other brand that's really good, look it up. If you find it for pretty cheap at an estate sale or garage sale, chances are it's probably worth some money, especially at an estate sale where it's like you know a nice house or something. But yeah, I picked these up. I don't like to pick them up at thrift stores because usually they charge per piece and it's generally going to be more expensive there and you're not going to be able to get everything. But at a state sale or garage sale, it's more likely to have all the pieces together. This is the Oneida plantation pattern. You can look it up pretty easily on the Oneida website. So yeah, my bolo for this video is Oneida or any other type of silverware. Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter, better known as the Plush King. Um, so of course for my item, I will be showing you a plush. Uh, this guy maybe lasted in my store a week. Um, it is a Build-A-Bear, Jack-O-Lantern, Orange, Pumpkin, Kitty Cat. Uh, I got the this guy off a of viewer. They were getting out of the plush game, so she sold me all her plush. I got six huge trash bags for 50 cents a, a piece plus shipping. So, uh, yeah, got a great deal on that. So, uh, this guy has little Jack-O-Lantern or pumpkins all over his or her body. And he sold for... $84.99, so not bad on that guy. So if you like uh, top, I do top 20 videos of uh, different plush brands, um, like the top 20 that are sold on eBay. Every single week I do a video on that, plus I do a what's sold video. So if you want to learn about plush and other things like that, join my channel. Thanks, Courtney. Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are The Hustle Couple coming at you today with a triple threat bolo brand. That's right, guys. Listen up. Peter Millar Summer Comfort. Okay, these are polo shirts. They come in all different colors and varieties, but there's two specific ones you're looking for. One is the Masters that looks like this, which we sold for 75 bucks. 
What? And then also the Scotty Cameron. Those are the super hot ones right now. Ours sold for $148. What? For a polo shirt. You can find these at your thrift. We find them all the time. Look for those in particular. Regular summer comforts always slip for us as well. So if you can find them About cheap. 30 bucks. Pick them up. We're the Hustle Couple. We have daily ship with me on eBay, YouTube videos on the Hustle Couple channel on YouTube, and nightly weekday live listing on the Reseller Workroom channel. Hope to see you there. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Courtney. Hey, Bolo Buddies. I'm Kristen. I'm a rural squirrel. You can find me on YouTube and on Instagram. So my bolo for this month <laughs> is a jacket. It is a vintage Western tuxedo looking jacket. It was beautiful. It had this teal color and this sheen to it and this Western cut to it. it had these fabulous buttons and kind of looked like a tuxedo. It would be like if Hugh Hefner and John Wayne had a jacket baby. This would be it. Gorgeous. So I picked it up at the bins for $1.50 and I sold it for $145, $145 from $1.50. Super excited. <laughs> and I will be looking for more vintage jackets. So keep your eyes open. Thanks so much for having me on and I will see you guys next time. I'll see you in the bins. Hey folks, this is Pat Dees. I want to thank Courtney from Bolo Buddies asking me to participate in this. Um, I want to do three bolos in under 60 seconds. The first one here is home time lodge style log home. Basically this was how they build homes and the different homes that they build. I bought it for a dollar at the Goodwill and I sold it for $25. The next item I have is this racing jacket, Mark Martin Viagra racing jacket. It was a small and I actually had it for a while and forgot to list it and I dug it out but I liked the work. I bought this for 25 and I listed it for 150 our best offer and accepted a uh, offer of $100. And the last item is this Airband Zoni radio. I bought 12 radios for $25 listed on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it broke it down to $4 per radio and I sold this for $75. So there's three items uh, I turn $30 into 200 Hi, my name is Lorene Hostetler, and I'm coming to you from my used bookstore in Berlin, Ohio. My eBay store is Lorene's Used Books and Things, and I'm here to tell you about a 1950s Marcel Brochet, Rose of Seville, brooch and clip-on earring set. I picked them up at a local charity thrift for $8 and they sat in my profit pile a little while. And this week I did some research. I found that the last one that had sold on eBay, there was only one recorded that I found in Terapeak. And so I turned to WorthPoint to help me figure out a value. And after researching through WorthPoint, I decided to list it for $154. And within two hours, three hours, I had received two offers and sold it for $120. I'm very pleased. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm doing my This Is My Bolo. This is for Courtney. Before I even show this, I want to thank her so much for all the support that she's given my channel and me she has been a really great friend keeping me encouraged to keep making these videos my bolo is i've picked this up at a church sale for three dollars definitely keep your eyes open it is avon i'm going to take it out of the package but this is one of the christmas countdown calendars this is from 1987 the thing is, there's several of these, I believe, because I've seen one that had maybe a Santa Claus. This one has the mouse. So even if you find something that looks like this that's tagged Avon, definitely pick it up if you're at the bins digging. But this sold on Etsy for $139.99. Hi, everybody. I'm Cher, known as Grinning Grandma on the net. And you'll find me uh, selling on eBay and Mercari, also some of the other selling platforms, but not as much. 
we have been concentrating mostly locally in the malls. We're in eight different malls, which equates out to be 18 different booths, which is a lot of work. We're starting to get old. And we're trying to scale back some, at least on the booths, by building up a bigger social media presence. So we do a lot of estate cleanouts, and that's where most of our items come from. That's where these little K Finch Yorkies came from. I had no idea who she was, uh, is, no idea at all until I finally looked them up. They were in our shop for a while. They finally sold for $200. We had pennies in them. Thanks again, Courtney. Appreciate everything. Hi, Bolo Buddies. Courtney, thank you for doing this. Uh, this month I uh, had a Bolo. It was one of these girls, a brat stall. I was able to purchase it um, in a lot of two for $27.50 each. I paid $55 for the two dolls, this one and the other one that I sold from Mr. Bizalot. I sold that doll within a week for, like I said, uh, $69.99 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for over $86 bucks and it sold really quick so be on the lookout for vintage brats dolls they do really well and everybody good luck sourcing make lots of money and have fun bye hey y'all this is carissa chosen gets reseller and this is my bolo it is a lennox crystal salt and pepper shaker and it is cats or kittens and i sold it for full asking price of 28.55 plus shipping which it was sold through the global shipping program through eBay. And I only paid 75 cents for it at a garage sale. I like Lennox because it's covetable, people collect it, and I can usually find it for a really great price once people are done with it. So um, especially finding it like this with its original box, that was really great for me. So I brought you guys Lennox before, and if this is my bolo, definitely check it out if you see it, especially for a great price. Now, my channel is Chosen Gets Reseller. I hope y'all go check it out. Now, I haven't put out a whole lot of brand new content because I spent five months in the hospital this year trying to get my stores back up and running, but I will definitely be putting more out and I do have content on there now. Hope y'all have a blessed day. Bye. What's up, everyone? Chad here with Gateway Pickers. Courtney just reached out after I posted a bolo of a Kermit the Frog I picked up. Let's take a look and see how I found it. Seen this $2 shoe box at a yard sale. Opened it up, went through it really quick. Then I seen, I seen him. And I'm like, for $2, why not? Let's just get it. So I picked it up for $2, got home, started cleaning it out even more. And look what it was in here. This month's Bolo. Listed him for $180, took best offer for $149.99. Or no, 146, I think. I think price right here. He is a number 864. He's from 1979. Yep. He's the sad face Kermit. Everyone, always research everything you find. You never know what you're going to get. Hi, everyone. Christina from PNW Flips, eBay and YouTube. So go check those out. Um, my most recent bolo was this Mega Man game. I paid $5 for it and the buyer, um, plus shipping paid 86 and some change. So minus taxes and fees and what have you, um, my profit was, um, about $60 and that was including cost of goods sold already taken out. So that was a great find. Um, for those of you that follow me, I recently... We recently bought a house, so we're still getting all of our eBay inventory squared away and organized. So there will be lots more to come. Bolos, listings, videos, what have you. So follow me on YouTube. Thank you. Hello, my name is Charnel. I go by Queen of Hearts Charnel on YouTube. And I have a store, an eBay store, that's your relocation station. And this is a solar radiometer. I sold this in just one day and I was asking for 49.88 
but I took a best offer of $42 and I just paid a dollar for it. It was in the craft section. So keep your eye out in all different kinds of sections. The solar radiometers are kind of hard to find. So you can like and subscribe any videos on my channel. I'd appreciate if you go over there and sub and stop by my eBay store. Thank you very much. Thank you, Courtney. Bye. Good morning, Bolo Buddies. My name is Abigail and I own a vintage and antique store called Abigail's Artful Abode in Polsbo, Washington. I have two antique booths in Seattle, Washington, and I sell on almost all the major platforms. And I also have a YouTube channel by that same name. And today I'm coming to you with an unexpected Bolo. So I went to an estate sale because it's a state and garage sale season and I saw this little horse. He was tiny, but I recognized him as a Norwegian dollar horse. And because I watch Courtney's channel, I decided to look him up because I think that's her motto. Look up items even when they're little. Come to find out he was really valuable. So I used List Perfectly to list him on multiple platforms and he wound up selling on Etsy for $65 dollars. I was so happy because it only took a couple weeks and now I'm on the lookout for dollar horses. Hi everyone, T here, auctions for you. I am a full-time reseller and auctioneer over on YouTube. Please follow me and my girl, Donatella Badalino. We go live almost every day. We bring resellers great merchandise, but we also list on eBay and I list on Pica uh, Macari, uh, Poshmark, and I do some what not videos so be sure to be following me and don't forget to like comment and subscribe on courtney's video here she's awesome for doing this for us every month and let me show you guys what i sold so i had purchased a bunch of die casts i have about eight dollars into this i did list it for last uh fourth quarter and it sat and sat and sat um but i just uh had the sale uh, a couple of days ago, got full asking price $169.99 and $24.95 um, in shipping. So altogether, I have $8 into this item. So this was an awesome sale and always pick up diecast when you can. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm Christine. I'm Kenton. We're a reselling family on the Gulf Coast of Florida, uh, hence the name Gulf Coast Pickers. We uh, started back in October, so this October will be a year. Um, our YouTube channel started in January. Our bolo is a 1960s psychedelic 20 inch gnome plush. We got it at a yard sale for $2, uh, went back to the office, looked it up, there was one in a different color listed for 178. So we listed ours for 100, starting bid. Within a few hours, we got a offer for 120, waited overnight to see if anything else happened, took the offer for 120 the next day. Be on the lookout for them. Thank you, Bolo Buddies. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Hello everyone, my name is Cindy. I'm coming to you from the Wear Pigs Fly Farm out in Lynn, Missouri. We just started doing eBay full time this past May and have learned so much from watching Courtney. Courtney's channel has been awesome. Thank you so much for having us on. We are here to share our bolo. Nope, it is not the book. It is what was found in the book. This was found by my board member, Jerry. She and I are the ones that do the sourcing and the eBay to help raise money for the farm. She did not care much for box lots. However, I think now she's addicted. She purchased this box lot of old books for $12 at a live auction, was going through comping the books and out falls a ticket. And then with a little bit more search, she found four more tickets. These are World's Heavyweight Ch Wrestling Championship tickets took place in Chicago, November 1936, between Alibaba and Marshall. We put them up for auction. They brought in over $150. Always search your books. So a lot of times what you find in the books will actually be more valuable than the book itself. And this was definitely uh, true for us. So anyway, keep your eyes open. Old tickets are going to bring in some big cash. 
and searching through those old books, you might find some great stuff. Also, please check out our YouTube channel. We're trying to raise our hours, so that way we can also help generate money for the farm to help pay for these guys. So anyway, thank you so much for having us, Courtney. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, Farm Girl Scavenger here, back with another bolo. Um, I don't know how much of a bolo it is. I believe there are a lot of people who do know about this. However, I am going to give you a little history lesson. Maybe, maybe just a little lesson. So, if you don't know me, my name is Noelle. Please follow me on my YouTube channel, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. I have a Thursday night show I do almost every week. I just came back off vacation called Let's Talk About It, and I pick a niche and we talk about it and anyway what I want to show you that I sold is a um, scream ghost face mask um, and here it is I also sold I also have the um, costume that goes with it but there's so many different things about these for you guys to to know and I went down a deep dark hole research in reddit and everywhere to find the best price on this to find exactly what i had and i'll tell you what you can't just find one of these and look at the chin and see what's on it mine has let's see fun world division fun world division on it now if you find one that has fun world division easter unlimited that's a later version Easter Unlimited bought out Fun World Division, and there is a whole host of different generations of Scream masks, and it is the Scream Ghost Face Mask, and there's Generation 1, and then there's Generation 2, and it goes on. I will put, um, let's see, <laughs> I will put a, a thingamabobby up here in the corner. Um, that I found. I also had some help from an eBay person who is a Scream fan when I put my, my, my listing up. Now, my was title, my title was Scream Ghost Face Mask Fun World Division Generation 2 Poly Vintage Hard to Find 90s Droopy Eyes. So, Polly refers to the shroud. This is not a hood. It's a shroud. They're very particular about that. So the generation ones, this piece, this whole piece here is cotton. This one is polyester and you can see, hopefully you can see the difference. It's shiny and there will be all different kinds. And sometimes they'll ask you for more pictures. There will be from certain molds and those are the gens. Gen one, gen two, gen three, those are the molds that these are made out of. And, and they also tie into the movie. Some of the different molds will leave different bumps in the tongue. So I listed this initially for $12.99. I immediately got hit up by a, a Scream fan. And I and he I did a lot of research on it, trust me. Anyway, he told me that I had my title wrong. And that I was, uh, he, he came at me pretty hard. But I talked to him for quite a while, super nice person, and finally I got it down to where I, I, I had this title, and I had it listed for $6.99, and he goes, I still think you have it listed way too high, and I said, I probably do. I said, but I have Buy It Now with Best Offer, but I also sell internationally, and I said, and Halloween is right around the corner, and the possibility that I get what I'm asking for sent overseas is super high and he said I didn't even think about that and I said I'm not out to rip anybody off I said I said he goes no what you have is good he goes but you're looking at more like the 245 200 250 245 tops and I and I go well follow me on it I said you're gonna get an offer um because that's what I do and I said and we'll see what it anyway I'm sitting in the airport all day Let's see, when did I leave? I left uh, I left the 19th at 1 a.m. So all day Thursday, I was going back and forth with another guy. And finally, he offered me 425 on it. And I accepted his offer. And so I sold this Scream 
Ghostface Mask Fun World Division Generation 2 Poly Vintage Hard to Find with the droopy eyes, kind of like mine, <laughs> for $425. And the total was $477.88. But the best part of this all, you guys, I, my store was on vacation mode. I was leaving to go to New York. I spent 10 days in New York, and I am back today, and I am shipping this to him. So he waited a, almost 12 days to get this after he paid for it. So there you have it. Hope that helped. <laughs> I'm way over my, my, uh, my minute. Sorry, Courtney. Thanks for watching. Everybody give Courtney hands up. Hey, Bolo Buddies. This is one of my tote rooms and I am pulling orders to ship and I just sold this. And that light is really, let me try to get a different angle here. Okay, so I just sold this witch right here and it is like a fabric mache. Look at the face. I got this at a garage sale for $2 and I just sold it for 85. It's a witch on a broomstick. Great for Halloween. Um, $85, the buyer's all in for $104. So this is my bolo. I know I had one at the beginning of the video, but I thought I'd share another one with you since I'm doing the final edits for this video. Thank you to everyone that shared a bolo. You all are awesome. And thank you to everybody that is watching. Please go and sub up these channels. They are amazing. They are linked down below. If you don't see a channel, you will see an eBay store. I did have some people participate that did not have a YouTube channel. So that's fantastic. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and leave me a owl emoji or just write the word hoot.